Some awesome news for you Yappening fans, and it looks like the diamond coatings will be available next weekend. We had this bit of awesome news revealed from Sketch. We've been enjoying it. On that note, I also want to let everybody know, uh, happy to say the Yappening is going to keep on happening. So the event will officially end next Tuesday morning, which means you got a few more days to complete your event pass if you're still working on some of those rewards. But as of next Tuesday, we're going to keep all these modes, keep the party rolling, and you will see a BTB social playlist now added to matchmaking. Well, there you go. That's a pretty nice little bump when it comes to the fun in Halo Infinite. Definitely happy about that. I find the Yappening event to generally be a fun one. I had a video going on earlier today talking about it, and I thought it was a lot of fun. I know a lot of people were very excited for BTB Fiesta to come back from Halo 5, and it looks like it's going to be staying around for quite a bit. This event actually did generate some decent population bumps. You can see now with the current infamous Steam population numbers right here that when the Yappening came in, actually a nice little spike in population hit right there. We peaked with just under 8,000 concurrent players on Steam alone, and that actually kind of stayed up rather high for the rest of the duration of the event. So we'll see what happens when you remove the rewards. You can also have some information here that was like a nice little population bump, just like a little bump. But this is the first time we've seen like a population bump besides the new season that came in with season two for Halo Infinite. This is the first time I've genuinely seen a significant population bump happen to Halo Infinite with a single like LTM event. So good on 343 for keeping it in the game. I know like has been really excited about the diamond coatings when the new set of diamond coatings will be coming into the game. And I think we had confirmation of what's happening next weekend and also for the finals for Halo Infinite for the HTS events. You can see right here for the Orlando event happening next weekend from September 23rd to 25th right here. Apparently you get a, a diamond weapon charm if you watch at least two hours throughout the entire weekend. You can get the Gladiator, Gladiator's Edge Sidekick, which is the same requirements sometime during the weekend. You watch any two hours over the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, you get this one. I already picked this up in the previous Valencia event, so that's pretty easy there for me. But then also, you get the Gladiator's Edge Commando, that's if you watch one hour of the finals happening on Sunday. Which then vicariously confirms that these Armor coatings for your Spartans will be available most likely for the HTS event happening in Seattle in Oct towards the end of October, which I will be at that event. If you guys ever see me there, make sure you stop by. But it looks like it will be a cross core coating as well, not just for the Mark 7 or something like that. Available for all cores, and you'll be looking quite beautiful and shiny. Now, if you don't know anything about HTS or don't have any iframe or reference, well, don't worry, I got you covered because I will be releasing a video discussing HTS Orlando, what the event means, how's it gonna lead into the finals, what happens in Seattle, and what teams to look out for. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to catch when that video does go live. Now, I did have a Halo video go live earlier today talking about the Yappany event and various aspects of Halo Infinite's gameplay, like the projectile sniper rifle, BR gameplay, as well as if these events are really that helpful. Helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Great. I appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.